Hi everybody, I'm Naufal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding barriers of communication. Okay, barriers of communication. So what is mean by barriers of communication? Suppose you are talking to your friend. Okay, and you are passing the messages and your friend is understanding what you are telling and he is giving the feedback or reply. That is a effective communication. In the same case, you are talking to your friend and your friend is not understanding what you are telling. So you can't call it as a effective communication. That communication is not effective. Okay. So some reason will be there for that ineffective communication. Right. Some reason will be there. Some blocks will be there. Some obstruction has occurred like a door in the room it is a block right like that in the communication some blocks are occurring in the between the sender as well as the receiver okay so what is mean by barrier of communication anything which block the effective communication is called barrier of communication anything which block or which obstruct or which that any obstruction as well as any obstacles okay which cause any barrier anything that block or anything that obstruct or any obstacles are there so that is called barriers of communication while communicating between the sender and the receiver any block is occurring between that communication it may be due to any reason you can call it as a barrier to communication okay so barrier means a block or a obstruction or a obstacle or a barricade that is blocking the proper communication got it that is barriers of communication so different types of barriers are there in the barriers of communication there are so many different types of barriers are there we can see one by one that is semantic barrier psychological barrier organizational barrier personal barrier environmental barrier and mechanical barriers first one is semantic barriers semantic barriers that means it is related to the language semantic barrier is related to the language okay and it is the semantic is the science of meaning semantic barrier is a barrier that is related to the language okay while i am giving the example you will get a better idea okay so the first semantic barrier is the word which have more than one meaning one word okay one word is there but for that word there will be several meanings in the beginning i have told that is block okay that is block so block here i have used that is related to the obstruction right one meaning is obstruction or a barrier one more meaning you can take it as for different parts of a building you will call block in hospitals you can see that a block is there b block is there c block is there for a different part of the building also you can call it as block so the sender is the person who is sending the message he is thinking that this block means barrier and the person who is receiving that the receiver is thinking that this block is related to the different parts of a building the word is same but meaning is different so there is a barrier has occurred because same word different meaning so sender is thinking in one way and the receiver is thinking in another way that is related to the meaning okay one word is having so many meanings okay that is the first semantic barrier next 
semantic barrier is similarity between the words some words will have similarity okay if i am telling to you regarding c okay if i am telling you regarding c the meaning of this c is different and maybe you will think that this one okay this c is different as well as this one is different this is related to the ocean and this is related to the view but there is a similarity between these two words right so a confusion will occur the sender is sending related to the c this one and the receiver is thinking related to this c got it that is the similarity between two words first one we have seen that is one word which have more than one meaning second one is similarity between two words next one is using technical words using technical words while communicating okay in every profession there is a technical word suppose for example if you are visiting a doctor and he is giving medicine to you and he is telling to you that you have to take this medicine od and this medicine you have to take bd so for a common man he don't know what is od and what is bd for medical professionals they know od means once in a day and bd is twice in a day but for a common man they don't know what is mean by od and bd okay that is using of technical words it professionals will use according to their profession engineers will use according to their profession that is some technical words will be there so for common men they will not understand what is the technical word they have used right it is also a semantic barrier next one is faulty translation okay all the things are coming under semantic barrier only that is faulty translation is the next one suppose your principal send a message okay to your class leader to your class rep your principal send a message and that is in english now the class leader is translating that message to hindi okay class leader is translating that language to hindi and now the class leader is passing that message which has translated to hindi there is a chance of change in the meaning of the message what the principal has thought and what the leader has translated maybe a difference will be there sometimes the entire meaning of the message will be changed due to the faulty translation from one language to another these are the things coming under semantic barriers okay one word which have different meaning and similarity between the words using of technical words as well as faulty translations that is semantic barriers in the beginning i have told it is related to the language it is a barrier okay next one is psychological barrier okay psychological barrier is related to the mind it is related to the mind between the sender and the receiver suppose if you are talking to your friend but he is under stress he is worried he is having tension or he is in a angry mood so he will not listen properly okay because he is thinking something else his mind is not proper okay sometimes due to lack of attention also psychological barrier will occur lack of attention for example i am taking class to you this video length will be 10 to 20 minutes so you will watch properly you will give your attention to this video but at the same time i am taking the class for 2 hour automatically your attention will go right so lack of attention as well as prejudice that is assumptions you are thinking 
means the receiver is thinking this person is not good he is not having the knowledge in this topic or his personality is not good no need to listen from this person that is prejudice or assumptions okay so in psychological barrier the communication barrier occur in the psychological barrier that is due to the stress if the stress is for the sender as well as to the receiver the effective communication will not occur because he will not get a proper feedback they are not giving the proper attention so a communication will not occur properly that is first one is stress tension fear angry mood lack of attention as well as the prejudice that is the assumptions got it so the communication will not occur properly psychological barrier is related to the mind of the sender as well as the receiver if the sender is not in a good mood as well as the receiver is not in a good mood the communication will not occur properly okay that is psychological barrier next one is organizational barriers organizational barriers organization means the place where you are working for example hospital or college or any factory or industry or your office okay so organizational barrier for example in the college okay some rules and regulation will be there what are the things you can say and what are the things you can't say so you will have a suggestion or you want to express your opinion but the rules and regulation of the organization is prohibited or restricted such activities so it is a barrier the rules and regulation or the policies of the organization is a barrier the rule of the college is not allowed to express the opinion of the students for example okay so it is a barrier you have so many opinions and suggestion but the college is not allowing you to express your opinions and suggestions it is a barrier so communication is not occurring it is a block right as well as suppose a student want to send a message to the director of the college so the student can't directly send the message to the director so the student is writing or telling the things to the class coordinator the class coordinator is telling that thing to the head of the department the head of the department is telling that thing to the vice principal vice principal is telling that thing to the principal finally it is reaching to the director so the flow of communication a long or the length of the flow of communication that is scalar chain of command that chain the length of the chain of the communication is too long what the sender what the student is telling and finally what it is receiving to the uh, director it will be different because so many persons are there in between in between this message so many persons are there what is there in the mind of the student and finally what is receiving to the director it will be different due to the length of the chain of this communication okay that is the next barrier coming under organizational barrier next one is related to the status okay related to the status the college principal is thinking that directly i am communicating with the students means i am the principal of the college and uh, he is the student of this institution so according to my status it is not fair it is not good okay so in organizational barrier it is related to the rules and regulation of the organization as well as the chain of communication i have given the example okay that scalar chain will be too long as well as related to the status the superior is thinking according to my status i can't communicate with this persons got it that is organizational barrier next one is personal barrier personal barrier which means the related to the person only related to the individual barrier only every persons will have different 
personality every person will have different perceptions how i am thinking a thing as well as how you are thinking a thing will be different that is perception okay sometimes you are supporting a thing and i will not support that thing if i am supporting a thing maybe you will not support that thing that is related to the perception that time the barrier or a block will occur between the sender as well as the receiver as well as related to the personality okay related to the personality for example if a strict dad the dad is very strict and the child want to go to picnic and he need money for that picnic but the father the dad is very strict the child is afraid of that dad so he can't tell regarding that picnic and there is a chance of barrier between this child and dad due to the personality okay Ch uh, this dad is very strict so the child is scared he is afraid of the father okay the same thing with your college if your teacher is very strict or your principal is very strict a barrier will occur you will be scared or you will be afraid of him right or else you are thinking his personality is not good he is not a good person related to the personality okay and in personal barrier maybe due to lack of knowledge also a barrier will occur in personal barrier your friend is telling a thing to you but you don't have any knowledge in that topic so you will not show any interest because you don't know regarding that topic so you will not give any feedback or you will not give any suggestion lack of knowledge in is the same thing in the organization if the worker if the employee is telling a thing and the superior don't know the manager don't know regarding that topic so he will not show any interest to that topic because lack of knowledge he don't have the enough knowledge in that topic sometimes due to the fear of losing the job fear of losing the job if i talk this thing to the workers the manager is thinking if i talk this thing to the employees sometimes it will affect my job the company will dismiss me the company will terminate me if i communicate this thing with the workers got it that is personal barrier and related to the culture okay in personal barrier due to the different culture indian culture is different african culture is different european culture is different so according to the culture also in some culture some things are accepted that same thing is rejected in other cultures okay in european culture giving shake and hugging between male and female is widely promoted they are showing their happiness and for friendship and all they are giving shake hand as well as they are hugging between male and female but in indian culture that things are not promoted it is a personal barrier between two person individual that is a barrier okay so what are the things coming under personal barrier that is related to the personality related to the perception of a thing as well as related to lack of knowledge and fear of losing the job as well as the cultural difference are coming under personal barriers okay next one is environmental barriers environmental barriers that is related to the surrounding suppose you are talking to your friend he is far away from you he is not near by you he is far away from you and what you are telling he can't hear properly so distance is a barrier in environmental factor okay in the environmental barrier distance is a factor if your friend is too far he can't hear the thing what you are telling so distance is a barrier in environmental barrier okay as well as in the environmental barrier sometimes due to the traffic noise in the outside okay so many noise disturbance is there you are talking with your friend he is nearby you only okay but due to the traffic noise due to the severe traffic and the outside noise the receiver that is your friend is not hearing anything 
so that noise is also a barrier coming under the environmental factors okay maybe due to the climate also you are talking to your friend due to heavy rain and thunder he is not hearing properly climate is changed due to the climate also a barrier will occur okay coming under environmental barrier that is distance as well as the noise as well as the climate got it next one is mechanical barriers mechanical barriers is related to the channels of communication already while discussing regarding the communication process i have given a idea regarding mechanical sorry the channels of communication okay so in the channel no need of giving an explanation here in the channel any problem is occurred for example you are talking to your friend through the telephone and the network is very poor the network is not good he can't hear properly what you are telling that is a mechanical barrier okay or else if you are watching a television the display is not working properly or in the mobile phone if the display is not working so you can't see and you can't hear the thing properly it is a barrier as well as in the printed material if it is in the newspaper or in the book due to the wrong printing any error in the printing if the ink is smeared the smeared ink will cause a barrier the word is there in the book but you can't read due to the error in the printing due to the smeared ink that is mechanical barrier okay related to the mechanical barrier occur related to the mistakes in the channels of the communication got it or else if you are watching a video and the net is not working properly internet connection is poor that time also you can't watch that video properly that is also a mechanical barrier got it that's all regarding the barriers of communication we will meet soon with another video till that thank you and goodbye